It's hard to believe, but this seemingly ordinary penny fetched over $34,000 at Heritage Auctions. To the untrained eye, it might just look like pocket change, but to those in the know, this coin is a rare gem from the Lincoln Cent series. Upon close examination, you'll notice elements of doubling on the obverse side, marking it as the highly sought-after 1936 Lincoln Cent Double Die Obverse Variety, also known as FS101. The strong doubling is evident on the date, Liberty, and the motto, In God We Trust, making it a standout piece. The Cherry Picker's Guide highlights this variety as one of three significant double dies for 1936, emphasizing its extreme rarity in mint state. This particular coin, graded MS67 red, showcases sharply detailed design elements, impeccably preserved original red surfaces, vibrant mint luster, and incredible eye appeal. It's no wonder it sold for an impressive $34,800. To the average person, the appearance of this coin might seem unremarkable, but for an error coin collector, it's a masterpiece. This 1999 Connecticut State Quarter recently fetched over $1,634 on eBay. Graded MS64 by NGC, this error coin is a standout due to its unique minting mishap. According to Coin Facts, this quarter was multi-struck during the minting process, resulting in the duplication of some design elements. Several impressions of the date are evident on the reverse side of this elusive error coin. Error coins like this are extremely rare because the U.S. Mint has stringent quality control systems to prevent major errors from escaping the Mint. So, if you ever come across a coin like this, think twice before assuming it's damaged and discarding it. You might just have a valuable collector's item on your hands. The 1937S Arkansas Half Dollar is a coin mired in controversy, intended to commemorate Arkansas's 100th anniversary in 1936. Unfortunately, the project became tainted by uh, greed and mismanagement. The Arkansas Centennial Commission, established to oversee the production, secured authorization to mint up to 500,000 coins. However, the lack of specificity about minting locations and dates led to coins being minted at all three mints over several years, frustrating collectors. Designed by Edward Everett Burr, the coin features conjoined busts of a Quapaw Indian and Lady Liberty on the obverse, with a large eagle in front of a rising sun on the reverse. The initial production in Philadelphia saw 10,008 coins minted in 1935, with subsequent orders from Denver and San Francisco. Most of these coins were secretly sold to dealer B. Max Meal, who then retailed them at higher prices. This practice continued until congressional intervention in 1939 put a stop to it. This particular 1937S Arkansas Half Dollar, graded MS65 by PCGS, showcases the historical complexity and design artistry of the coin. It sold for $240 on May 20th, 2024. Unthinkable. Would you spend $23,000 on a 1983 Lincoln cent that isn't fully red? One collector did just that to secure this modern rarity. So what makes this coin so coveted among rare coin hunters? This 1983 Lincoln cent is not just pocket change, but a transitional mint error. Instead of being struck on the intended copper-plated zinc planchette, it was struck on a pre-1982 copper planchette weighing 3.1 grams. This transitional alloy mint error is reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper scent. While the zinc-plated steel scent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper scent planchettes found their way between the 1983 dyes. Perhaps a copper planchette lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed sometime later. This orange-red and apple-green example features a good strike and minor obverse abrasions. Its unique error and excellent condition made it highly desirable, ultimately selling for an impressive $23,500. Here is a gem 1922 S piece dollar struck 15% off-center, graded Mint State 65 by PCGS. This striking error occurred with a 15% off-center strike towards 330, leaving a wide arc of unstruck surface at 8.30. While the devices are complete, the tops of the TY in Liberty and the Erica in America are partly off the flan. The right side legends show metal flow toward the rim, and the centers are intricately struck, a common feature of off-center errors since no collar impeded the die compression. 
Beautifully preserved, this coin exhibits attractive toning in ocean blue and chestnut gold shades. Its, its unique characteristics and condition made it highly desirable, selling for over $39,000 at Heritage Auctions. There's something extraordinary about this quarter dollar, and it's why someone paid a substantial amount of money to acquire this 1970s 25 cent piece. This very rare error coin is a Washington quarter overstruck on a George V Canada quarter, graded PR64 by NGC. During the era of the George V Canada quarter, 1911 to 1936, the coin weighed 5.83 grams and had a diameter of 23.6 millimeters compared to the clad Washington quarter's weight of 5.67 grams and a diameter of 24.3 millimeters. The most likely cause of this wrong planchette proof mint error is a prank. Someone secretly added a silver Canada quarter to a bin of proof clad quarter planchettes. The person responsible had no expectation of recovering the struck piece and likely intended to evoke wonder or joy in the fortunate eventual purchaser of the coin, possibly through a 1970s proof set ordered directly from the US mint. Much of the Canadian design was effaced by the proof, Washington quarter striking, but traces remain visible. Maple leaves from the undertype can be seen across the obverse periphery. Rex ET from Rex E and D is apparent on the reverse border near nine o'clock, and the outline of the king's shoulder is evident near the Amur in America. The coin is lightly toned in cream gray, adding to its unique appeal. This remarkable piece sold for $7,800 at Heritage Auctions. This 1970 S. Jefferson Nickel with full steps is a standout piece, graded Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Ron Goeth, the 1970 S. Nickel is quite common in Mint State, especially in grades ranging from MS64 to MS65. While MS66 examples can also be found, anything better than that has not yet been seen. Full step examples are particularly scarce, but this date from the mid-1960s to early 1970s has a decent population of full step examples, making it a sought-after coin among collectors. This superb gem fetched over $6,400 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting its desirability and rarity in such exceptional condition. In conclusion, we've explored a fascinating array of rare U.S. coins that hold significant value for collectors. From the intriguing 1970 S. Jefferson Nickel with full steps to the unusual 1983 Lincoln Cent struck on a copper planchette, each coin tells a unique story of rarity and error. The 1937S Arkansas Half Dollar stands as a reminder of a well-intentioned project marred by greed and mismanagement, while the 1922S Peace Dollar struck 15% off-center showcases the beauty of minting errors. And who could forget the 1970S Nickel overstruck on a George V Canada Quarter, a coin born from a mysterious prank. These coins not only hold monetary value, but also serve as windows into our past, reflecting the history and craftsmanship of their time. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these treasures in your pocket change or collection, think twice before letting it go. If you enjoyed this journey through rare U.S. coins, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Your support helps us continue to bring you more engaging numismatic content. Until next time, happy collecting.